with them boys. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> you know, God rest his soul, my grandfather was retired Navy. He was a fucking chief in the engineering department that ran his ship, and my cousin was retired Navy. And he was on the radio to talk to people that I have no clue because he won't fucking tell me. Of course, I've been in rooms that you're not supposed to know about either, but, you know. Uh, I just couldn't, just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put on that fucking, just that, oh my God, it wants to be covered in white shit all the hey, time. Hey, can I announce something though? Can I announce yeah. something to y'all? Sure. What you got? Okay. I got this. Do you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys know Chris Oliver? Yeah. I know mm, Chris. No. Very well. I know Chris very well. I love him. He's a fucking brother. He's a fucking good dude. Guess what he's doing? What's he doing? He's gonna start a show with us. You fucking we're gonna lock <laughs> nice. nice. We're gonna lock it down on uh, Friday night. Uh, we were talking, and I want to bring him on, and so I just said I think you have some good shit to say. Come on, and he's gonna do it. You know, he and, his and, response was, was though, "What do I gonna talk about? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll?" I said, "If you want to, our veterans will <laughs> love that." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, Chris. Chris was one of the guys last night that were that was at my fucking was at my side last night, along with you Hell know yeah. y'all. That was that was like, what the fuck is these assholes' problems? It's dude, I'm fucking about to rain fucking all hell on this shit, and I'm just like, dude, that uh, you know, it, <laughs> it, it's Chris is a good fucking guy, and he he's got a lot to bring to the table. Um, some of the people that were trying to fucking, trying to eat my shit were, has, has snapped at him before too, but, you know, me and Chris both know it's not, you know, shit like that, you know, it's like we said this morning, shit like that don't even fucking matter, you know, and it's, and it's weird how things work out, is Chris was one of the guys that I originally invited to the show called The Compound, and instead of him doing it, fucking shit bags. No teeth, eighteen wheeler driver fucking ended up taking his fucking place, which was fucking shit. But I'm glad to see him fucking coming back around. That's 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 badass. Chris Chris will bring a lot of funny shit. <laughs> he's he's demented in the head like the rest of us. <laughs> I want to also make another announce announcement. Uh, I knew a, a first sergeant, Neil Juliet, <clears throat> and. Uh, <laughs> He uh, he thought of me this Christmas, and uh, he wanted to send me something. And uh, he had a group of people that have clothed over 700 or given coats to over 700 homeless vets this year. Awesome. And uh, I'll post a picture of it on there, but uh, he had them send it to me just for my service to my country. And uh, anyway, first start, Neil. Juliet, he's a wonderful person, and um, familiar. and he, uh, well, he's a he's a recruiting first sergeant. And I worked with him when I was in uh, the MPS, the non uh, non prior service side of the house before mm -hmm. I went to healthcare. Mm -hmm. And he is he's a fucking good dude, guys. He is he's all about taking care of soldiers. And he was on. I'll seven, post right? that. I'll post that on DGN with the with a little note that. But they that he was he wanted me to have that to thank me for my service and stuff like that. It was just so cool. That's, that's awesome. It was just really nice. He's on. For, he was on Fort Sam, right? No. 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 Juliet's been. Um, it's wishes. Uh, wishes for warriors. Mm. That's the group. And um, I'm gonna. Well, congratulations, sis. I'd like to. I'd like to see it. Mm, yeah, tell him. I know. I'll post it. I'll post it on our on our page with picture of it and everything. And right. um, it's just pretty cool. I think it's a cool little group he's got going on there that he's helping. So wishes for warriors. They're they're putting coats on uh, our our veterans that are homeless. So awesome. I awesome. think that's a good fucking deal. Well, oh yeah. I guess I can fucking tell Dan now and tell this, Dan, in five days, uh, one of the ladies that was uh, with me at the Caldwell Banker Center last Saturday is making uh, 20, you know, it's, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm paying her to fucking do it, but I'm having, I got these uh, paracord bands, um, she gave me one that's real fucking thick, um, it's, it's, 
camo wise, uh, she's making some for uh, DGN. So um, we're gonna fucking test run with it and see what it's uh, to see what it's uh, see what it'll do. Um, everybody, everybody knows I like to fucking buy shit and just fucking give it away. <laughs> Rather than fucking trying to sell shit, you know, yeah, I mean, it just, it, it fucking ends up happening all the fucking time. So. Hey, and, uh, if he's listening, hey, first on, I, if you got promoted, I didn't know, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell, you call a sergeant major a first sergeant? Oh, shit. <laughs> He was the first sergeant when I left him. I, you know, those guys, those fuckers get promoted sometimes, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's Sergeant Sar Major Greeley now was uh was was one of the one of the one of the first sergeants that uh that uh that I had back on Fort Riley. He's actually he's actually the guy that was looking over me whenever I lost my leg on Fort Riley. And uh yeah, I was I was talking to him the other day and he's like, dude, he goes, even though I don't answer very much to some of the stuff, he goes, Trust me. Me and the whole entire post out here knows who the fuck you are. Not only from you losing your leg, which I don't know how you can drive an 18-wheeler truck through the backwoods of fucking Virginia and not wreck, but you wreck a fucking goddamn four-wheel drive Ford Explorer on a wide open road. He has fucking <laughs> he's he's been listening to the show and and Fort Riley's been listening to. So that's that's pretty uh. It's pretty badass, and I know Michelle had said that she was going to let her folks out at Fort Campbell and Fort Stewart know about us. Yeah, and we appreciate you sharing this shit out because it's 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 awesome. This is how we get the people. Who are you snapping at? I'm not over. There. Oh my, my! Shut up, my dog! Come here, come here, BC, come here. What really? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Chris, you asked for that man, shit. That was not brushing. my fault. It was easy for me. To, that, you made that really easy. <laughs> I, I got to interject real quick with a serious note. We had a soldier that uh, Beeson just told me about that uh, became a part of 22 um, oh, yesterday. Fuck. He couldn't handle it. So I want to make sure that we dedicate today's show to uh, Sergeant Scott Lale. Um, yes. I hope I'm saying that name right. Um, so Beeson, brother, you know, we're behind you, brother. We're going to be playing for his family and uh, keep him in our prayers and our thoughts and our hearts and our minds. And, you know, well, just I just wanted to get that out there real quick so that way we could dedicate, you know, today's show, you know, to him. Um, amen. So, breaks my heart, dude. That's fucking well, breaks my heart. We'll do this real quick. We'll we'll dedicate this song to, to, to the old song right there.
And that's dedicated to the old song right there. And <laughs> Angie, if you ain't never heard that version before, welcome to the Madison Rising world of the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> yeah, I love that song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was really awesome. Well, I, I we, love how they we, did that. Yeah, we do have to uh, say this uh, for everybody that's listening. You know, vet, non-vet, whatever it don't matter. You know, it. If if God, it's hard. It's hard to fucking explain and express it. But I mean, if if you know, you have somebody that's in your life that's a vet, or that you know that you know that's having issues or hard times or trouble, check on them. Make sure they're doing all right. Make sure that they're okay. They don't make sure they don't need anything. Right. Even if they don't need anything, at least you're still there checking on them. So they know that somebody actually gives a fuck. Yep. You know, keep on your guys' backs. You know, make sure you're talking to you know everybody in your life that you can as much as you can and and making sure they're okay. Yep. You know, and if there's somebody out there right now listening that needs somebody to talk to or somebody to vent to or express, you know, emotional issues with Fucking get a hold of us. We will sit and talk to your ass all day if we have to. You don't have to become a statistic. You know, the shit's got to fucking stop, and it's got to stop now. Otherwise, we're only going to be hurting ourselves in the long run. All right. You know, it, it doesn't benefit anybody for somebody to take their own life. It makes it worse. It doesn't. They're, they're hurting the rest of their family. Mm-hmm. And then it's a, a wave effect. You know, it trickles out. And more people, you know, it, it's just it's just not the way to go with it. So if you got if you got anything you you can let us know, or any one of the other you know nonprofits out there that will help you know get a hold of somebody talk to somebody, fuck if the VA doesn't help, you got us we're here. That's right, you know and that's and that's you know and, and like you said earlier this morning, brother, it's you know a lot of people have to wait, you know, for their appointments with the VA to go in and talk with their therapist. And then when you do get in there, you only got fucking an hour to talk to them. And it seems like it goes by so fast. And then they end up fucking switching your fucking therapist. And then it's like, you have to tell your story all over again. Well, yes, here you don't, because we're not fucking going nowhere. Right. Um, What's up, Angie? Sounds like you got a little, little, little frog heat throat over there. A what? <laughs> I said frog. <laughs> oh. No, I was on mute. That song got me tearing up, so I was just... Aww. Aww. You don't have to hide I... that. <laughs> really sad. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know... This... But we, we appreciate that, hon. Aww. 